It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Wednesday, the 3rd of February. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather dry during the day tomorrow. Rain returns tomorrow night. Maybe some rain at times over the weekend, especially Saturday night. A very interesting active pattern coming up, so let's dive in and talk about it. Again, today we have a very dry air mass in place, a northwest flow aloft, the big trough just off the east coast of the United States, and nothing but severe clear. That's a visible satellite view, all of Alabama, Mississippi, Georgia, and Florida with a sunny sky. Temperatures feeling a little better today, still 40s for places like Haleyville, Cullman, Aniana, and Gadsden, Birmingham at 51, 55 degrees down in Utah and Centerville. A good chance we see low 60s tomorrow. That will likely be the warmest day of the week. Up north, more winter weather problems for parts of the Midwest and the Great Lakes. Got a blizzard warning for parts of Iowa. This is the severe weather outlook through tonight. Maybe some thunder for the mountainous regions of Utah and Colorado. No severe weather expected. And tomorrow, no thunderstorms across the entire country. Here's the precipitation for the next seven days. Rain amounts uh, fairly significant for the eastern third of the country. For Alabama, heavier totals down around Dothan and the wire grass, one and a half inches there, mostly one half to one inch elsewhere. So let's dive into modeling. Model fans, here's the GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow afternoon at 3. You can see troughing north and west of the state. And a surface front will be approaching. This will bring snow to parts of Iowa, Wisconsin, northern Illinois. But for us, during the day, we're dry. The sky becoming cloudy. And again, we're expecting low 60s. That'll feel pretty good. Rain comes in here tomorrow night. Not expecting any severe weather. Probably no thunder. Rain amounts one half inch or less. And then on Friday, that rain is pushed all the way down to the Gulf Coast. And the northern two-thirds of the state will be dry, the sky becoming partially sunny. And the day will be colder, the high Friday will be close to 50, so about uh, 10 degrees cooler than what we're expecting tomorrow. Saturday, as the weekend begins, there could be a few showers for the southern quarter of the state, but for north and central Alabama, the day Saturday should be dry, a mixture of clouds and sunshine with highs in the mid-50s. Now, this is Saturday night at midnight. A little wave forms on the front. That brings a chance of light rain to the state, nothing especially heavy. This is Sunday morning at 6 o'clock, the bulk of the rain onto the east. But we do note that 540 line over the Tennessee Valley uh, could mean the rain might mix with a few snowflakes early Sunday for extreme north Alabama. If that happens, we don't expect any impact. Temperature should be above freezing. And then much of the day Sunday will likely be dry with highs in the 50s. This is Sunday afternoon at 3, probably some sunshine by afternoon. This is next week on Monday. What a difference a couple of days make. You know, a couple of days ago, we expected lows in the teens and highs around 32 to 35. Well, now we're expecting lows in the 30s and highs in the 60s on Monday. Models giveth and models taketh away. But there's very cold air to the north we'll be watching. This is Tuesday. The next uh, wave comes in. That brings a chance of more light rain. And again, the models have been all over the board next week. The confidence is low. If this verifies, there could be some icing problems over parts of Tennessee and Kentucky, but just rain for us. And this is a week from today, Wednesday the 10th, a deep vortex north of the state. And this is suggesting a dry day for the northern two-thirds of the state. And again, maybe a few showers near the immediate Gulf Coast. So you want to see some fun? Let's go out 10 days. This is Saturday, the 13th of February. Troughing to the north and ooh, how about a major winter storm with snow and ice for the northern half of the state? But let's all say it together. This is nothing more than voodoo, meaningless at this point. But I'll just say the players are on the field. It's very cold air up in the source region, Siberia. Uh, the, the Arctic region, Alaska, Canada. And at some point, that air's got to move south. And how much of that reaches us, the intensity, we, we don't know. And with an active southern branch of the jet stream, could something like this happen? It could. But again, we stress for now, this is meaningless. Model output at uh, 10 days out. So let's look at this. This is more meaningful, I think. This is the uh, ensemble output from the European. Uh, and you can see that a number of the members are hinting it's some chance of a few snowflakes toward mid-month and a few of the members with significant amounts of snow. But uh, we'll just be watching that for trends. This is rain for Birmingham off the same model. The mean of the ensemble members about two inches between now and the 18th of February. 
Temperature is not bad. I mean, look at uh, early next week. Again, just a few days ago, we expected a major Arctic blast. Well, now the, the NBM here, the National Blend of Models, has a high Monday of 60 and a high Tuesday of 61. Then we go back in the 40s out there toward the end of next week. But check this out. This is the latest CPC outlook just off the presses here. This is for the 11th through the 17th. And that's a very cold look for the eastern two-thirds of the country, if this verifies. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.